I'm Steve Childs. I'm a New York State Maple Specialist and work with the Cornell Maple Program. And we are sitting at Arnott Forest where we produce syrup from about 2,500 taps. New York is second largest maple producing state in the United States. We've added a million taps in the last uh, eight years. As far as working with maple, it is probably one of the crops where we notice time of temperature as much as any crop possible because sap only runs when it thaws and then it freezes, and then it thaws, and then it freezes. And over my lifetime, I would have to say I've seen the maple season gradually becoming a little earlier. We used to start tapping on the 10th of March. I've seen it move to the 1st of March. I've seen it move then to the 20th of February, and then up to the 15th of February, and then finally we've been tapping here. We start on February 1st. Keeping tap holes open that long can be a challenge, and we've been able to develop some technology that allows us to keep tap holes open longer. So in the old days, we typically would tap trees and hang a bucket on the tree, and that bucket was totally subject to whatever weather is going on out there. Then in the 60s, they came out with maple tubing, and we run that between the trees, and it would provide a little bit of suction on the taps, and it would give us a little bit better run. Now if I have tubing hooked to that tree through a spout, if this is contaminated, it will pollute the hole with bacteria and yeast, and the hole will dry up fairly quickly. So keeping it sanitary, and that's not easy to do if you're talking about weather events, in that if I get a few runs and then it goes too hot, which we saw in 2012 extremely, if my hole or my tubing is contaminated, that bacteria and yeast just grows like crazy and dries my hole up very fast. We uh, can use what's called a check valve, that check valve has a little ball in there so the sap won't get pulled back into the hole and contaminate it. Those work really well at lengthening the season and keeping the hole clean and keep it from drying. So that's one of the things that has been very helpful. Uh, vacuum systems have become much more prominent, mainly because they allow sap to run at a colder temperature and you start getting runs before you would have without it and you can uh, double or triple sap yield with a good vacuum system. And that overcomes some of the issues of weather that we run into with maple. Always nervous about big weather events, uh, both rain and drought, because they affect the health of trees significantly. Uh, you think a tree will do fine in the woods, but years after severe drought, you'll start to see death in the tops of the trees. You'll you see dead branches up there. After years of severe wetness, uh, you'll all see impacts on tree health. As it seems like these extreme weather events are happening more often, one of my big concerns for the maple industry is where we tend to site maple sugar houses and pump stations. The nature of sap is that we want it to go through our tubing system and go downhill to the lowest point to catch all the maples and that's either where we pump it from there to a sugar house or we have the sugar house placed there. That also is the most likely point in your woods to flood. So we're sitting here at the Arnott Forest, which is the perfect example of where I would not site a sugar house. We are right next to a creek and we are pinched by very steep hills on both sides. So if we were to get a five or six inch rain on our very significant watershed here of, of several thousand acres, we could easily have flood damage to our equipment in the sugar house, or it could be significant enough that our sugar house could no longer be usable. So we may need to consider siting our sugar houses and our pump stations not quite at the lowest point. And one of the advantages we have there is with vacuum, we can actually pick sap up and pull it into a little bit higher place for those things. So if there's a site make sure that you check what would happen in that site should we get four or five inches of rain or even possibly more.